Greetings and greetings, my fellow nurse brothers, nurse sisters. Welcome to the medically affiliated nursing channel. Today we got my boy, nurse brother Amen, and my nurse brother Par. So uh, we have some different background experiences. We got my boy here from ER experiences. He's been there for a while. Our gentleman here has some CVICU experiences, also in the cardiac unit. So he's right now in the cath lab. Cath lab. So we're all just kind of just breaking it down. We're going to talk about what happens when someone comes in with the ST elevation or myocardial infarction coming in into the ER? My friend, what will be the first thing you're gonna do? So we get a STEMI activation from the EMS system. They come in the ambulance. We wanna get that EKG transmitted to us as soon as possible. Yes. So the ER physicians can take a look at the EKG, review it, make sure it's a real STEMI. Right. Uh, make sure the EKG is obtained before they give the nitro so because they can cause the ST elevation to go away. Uh, we wanna make sure that's done. We wanna get that patient as soon as to us get to multiple access, mm -hmm. get labs drawn. We wanna make sure nitro is given. Mm -hmm. All right, give them some aspirin. Uh, if they're not allergic, we're gonna give them some morphine and bring them back to the ER, get them to the cath lab as soon as possible. Heck yeah, so a little Mona, right? Exactly. There you go, right. Right. A little Mona, a little morphine, oxygen, nitro, and some aspirin. Um, some of those acronyms are changing a little bit. It depends on your facility. Once they come in, ED sets them up, gets a consent sign, lets the doctor know and see the patient. Uh, we get them to cath lab as quick as possible. Usually door to balloon time from ED coming in and get into the cath lab to the point the first balloon opens up to open up a coronary vessel. Should be less than 90 minutes. We yep. try to hit 60, but 90 minutes is the, the less time. You know, time is muscle. We gotta save that muscle. Oh yeah. And if we can't get in there, um, or if there's something going on, if there's something we could fix in the cath lab, we're gonna fix it. And if we can't, there might be candidate for cardiothoracic surgery. Uh, and that all really depends on the situation, and we won't know until we get into that cath lab, get them under fluoro, and see what's going on. Yeah, and under cath lab, that's where they find out the real main point of where the blockage is occurring, especially for the heart. So they go in there, get that dye, and once uh, they find out the blockage, if it's left main, I mean, they're going to have to have cabbage, coronary artery bypass graft, uh, and if it's maybe a stent, they, either way, they're going to probably come in to PACU or the CVICU. And they come in, they're going to be vented on uh, mechanical ventilation for the patient. So they're going to have some chest tubes left, right, whatever to decrease the pressure on the chest. And so they're going to have central lines, basically all these crazy lines so we can watch and monitor the pressures, PA pressures, the swans cath, the central, the CVP. It's just going to be all the pressures we have to look at for the patient. It depends on what type of... Uh, Kind of heart surgery that they end up having and that's when they come in we stabilize them get them better and then uh, we basically get them on that heart hugger and try to ambulate them as fast as we can to get them better the more ambulation the better blood flow uh, blood flow perfusion patient get in and out get them to the floor and then they go home nice and safe with their fam so anyways my fellow nurses i kind of wanted to break that down with you guys coming from er experience you got the background when the patient comes in that 60 90 minute window you get in the cath lab get them all settled trying to figure out where the blockage is and then we go to cvicu where we get them better and hopefully get them going home after this right all right That's my great. fellow nurses don't get my nurse brother here we got Amin, my nurse brother here par I want to get that background with you guys so don't forget to subscribe comment like and share the video my fellow nurse brothers and sisters peace don't worry about it bro we'll, we'll, we'll cut it out okay that was good hopefully recorded <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs>